Welcome to a bonus episode of Mega Dimension Neptunia VR. Hello. One more event for all four million goddesses. Gonna say our goodbyes. Don't hey, me. yeah, I got that for you. Hi. Well, you got that for me, and then I put it there for you. <laughs> problems in our world but even if we did I'd always be ready for him we'd always be ready for him to be honest I'd love for this peace to continue for a long time if it does that means I could come here more often right I had a feeling <laughs> I guess we make a good pair after all Now, if, and this is a huge if, but if Game Industry was in trouble again, I wonder if we'd be able to come together one more time. A goddess's power comes from one thing, shares. Everyone's feelings and dreams affect us in very real ways. And if the people are with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Besides, now that you're around, you'll be able to help me out, too. If we're together, no matter what happens, the two of us can overcome anything. From now on, please keep an eye on us. We'd really appreciate that, okay? It's a promise. Well, I'm going right next to the next game in PS4 tomorrow. And what is up next? And Oh, she's already here. It's good to know oh, we're having you a... have fun anime in your world, too. Oh, we're having a watching party, I guess. Huh? Did you fall asleep? Um, I do tend to get comfortable. No, I would never. Oh, really? Well, all right, then. I don't know how you got here so quick. Anyway, I wonder what happens next. The performance of that new character's VO is so great. I'm really inspired. When she was fighting alongside the protag, her acting felt so noble. It was still super cute. She's so amazing. This reminds me that I need to keep practicing. I want to get cool voiceover roles like this one. But just watching anime with someone is pretty great too. We can watch an episode together and then just talk about it when it's done. It's nice, right? Don't you think so? Ah, I see. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what? Come on. Don't look at me like that. It's a little embarrassing. So, I may have become a voice actress, but I don't want to become complacent. I want to keep aiming higher for myself. Of course, I won't neglect my CPU duties. I know that we'll have real battles to fight in the future. Anyway, um, if you think about it, I guess I'm here now thanks to everything that the player's done. Well, I mean, thanks to you. So... I really am grateful. Th thank you. Uh, I'm just thanking you, okay? Oh, why do I have to feel so embarrassed all the time? Just so you know, from now on, I'm going to be asking for your help a lot more. So, well... Be prepared, okay? Aren't I always? How else could I have gotten you all to pass the triple digits of levels hey, if I wasn't prepared? Listen up, player. <gasps> My novel won a special award. Congratulations! <laughs> you know, I never could have done this on my own. <laughs> or, I mean, it's thanks to you that I was able to get this. It would make me so happy to celebrate together. So badly I want to give congratulatory head pat. <laughs> well, if 
If you're happy, then I am too. Do you remember how the other day I said that I didn't really care to see the results of the award right away? I've been thinking about that. It wasn't just because I felt a sense of accomplishment for finishing my novel or anything like that. To be honest, I think I was afraid. I couldn't bear the thought of someone rejecting the ideas that I had come up with during the time I spent with you. I felt like if my novel wasn't selected, then these memories I've made with you would feel tarnished. When I realized that, all of a sudden, I didn't care about the results anymore. I couldn't bring myself to look when the announcement came. But I told myself, even if I didn't win the award, the time I spent with you is still special. Nothing would change what it means to me. With that in mind, I didn't care what happened. Well, in the end, I did actually win an award. So, maybe it's easy for me to say these sorts of things. Also, guess what? I'm finally getting an editor to help me out. I've even been approached about a publishing deal. Isn't that great? So, when my book comes out, I want you to accept the very first signed copy, if you would. Of course. My biggest dream is to sign a book I published right in front of the people that are most important to me. I want you to be the first one. I mean it. Can you believe someone asked me to write a sequel already? I've got nothing to lose, so I'm gonna do it. I already have a few ideas for the sequel, but to be honest, I'm not sure if I'll be able to deliver. But if I write while spending time with you, I think I'll be able to come up with another great story. So, if I run into trouble when I'm writing, do you think that maybe I can come over to your place again? Thank you. I hope that the two of us that will always be able to come together, player. And last but certainly not least. Something on my face? Is your glasses different? I suppose I do not. <sighs> I apologize. It was strange of me to act that way. After looking at you, what I was so concerned about before now feels so insignificant in comparison. Maybe it's because it is you, or perhaps because you have been with me for so long, I wish to tell you this. To tell you the truth, I have been so worried that after what had happened last time, you may have come to dislike me. I didn't remember what happened last time. I got too excited about showing you the album, and I became too blunt with you without thinking of how it made you feel. Oh, right. So until just a moment ago, I had been feeling too afraid to face you and, well, you see, um, well, either way, I was just nervous. At first, I came here because I was simply curious about who you were 
and what you were like, knowing you were someone who helped save the world. Back then, I thought you were a little strange, but over time, it became more and more fun to spend time with you. Your presence in my life has become so important to me, but now I cannot imagine living a life without you in it. Your presence is so large that it cannot be contained in my ample chest. I better stand back then. Because of this, I have decided. From now on, no matter what, I will continue to come and visit you here. Even if the current gate becomes unusable, I will concentrate all of Leanbox's technological efforts to make it work again. <laughs> Was that a little too overblown? In any case, I believe it shows you just how serious I am about this. Oh, I just had a wonderful idea. Would you like to have a tea party with me sometime? Well, oh, when didn't come someone up. says party, it usually refers to a rather large and loud group. Honestly, I only wish to see you. Just us. Mm -hmm. A party of two. So, player... It is my greatest hope that you will choose to stay with me from now on. Oh, we do got new stuff. Oh, look at you. <gasps> it's a Neptoroid. <laughs> Ramen Ram. Anywhere I can put you? Any more figures? Oh, I got a Blackheart one. I'm gonna put... Actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Bam. Mm -hmm. Anything new here? No. Just going over this one final time. Compa. Hmm, I had to put away for it though. I gotta put her somewhere else now. Oh! Okay. <laughs> just hanging out, just turn over and she's like, oh my goodness! Blocking the window. That's a little invasive. Here, I got nowhere else to put you, I'm afraid. My shelves are all full. And they're, they're can put more on you here to block the windows. I don't know if I showed you the curtains. I can change purple now. I have a veranda. When the hell am I going to use that? Oh, that's just all. Okay, it was good to have you and uh, you contribute to the finale. Like bring it back to the first game that it was just when it was just the three of us practically. Candidates putting their putting their work in and all that stuff. Kind of dug the new characters. Not sure why you had the whole like paying me money for stuff like that. I was thinking like, are you supposed to be DLC? Are you supposed to be someone to like the that trope of like charging DLC when all of you do that now? So I don't know. Did you start that whole microtransaction thing with? You probably you two are the most interesting to me. Like, I guess if you never became the goddess, you grew up and became this. Kind of a combination between the two. I loved the next-gen forms, if I can get a... Can I get a good look at that, maybe? Probably in gallery. Wouldn't know where to look for that. You probably have my favorite of the next-gen. And then it would be... I forget what you had. I know you had, like... Kind of like the the suit, kind of like you look like an X Man, and then blonde. I hope you keep kind of your what you were sort of what you have going on. I know you got an edge and keep things guarded, but that might just be because just you and the player, one on one. It's I guess got to see the real you and how I can have been more pr more proud of this one. I think you had the best design by far of the four, the gold third. 
you second. Third, and then last place, just too much orange. Where was what's her name in all of this? Um, I was waiting to see if that would be like a uh, there'd be like a callback to um, Iris Heart or Pichu. I was like, now we're in the anime. That's when I first found out about. It. I'm like, what? They made an anime, and then there's these characters in here, and I'm like, oh. Still, an Neptunia game on the PlayStation Four. It was. Again, the whole autosave didn't mesh well with me, cause just not used to it for like an RPG, but and it got me through here a little bit quicker, and I was able to get the true ending much easier, now that I didn't have to worry about the shares in this one. There was a couple of the DLC characters in that one. I thought Umia was. He is not. One of them is just, um... I know one's like Super Sonico or something like that. Oh yeah, I can go after like higher risk bounties? It but it doesn't show up on the map. I don't know if I have to do the rank challenges or not. There's a crazy amount of post game that this game's gonna have, but I need to, uh. I can't get too into that. I gotta move on into the next game. Tomorrow begins Cyber Dimension Neptunia for Goddesses Online. So, until then, take care, and thanks for watching.